has a serious case of festival fever. Hey guys, I'm Jitin Hingarani coming to you straight from the Toronto International Film Festival in Canada. Phenomenal world premiere, amazing response from the audience, standing ovation. TIFF is kind of home to you. Is that what you expected from this audience? You know, you never take it for granted. You know, you said something to me on the red carpet. You said, make sure to bring a box of Kleenex. Yeah. And you didn't give me enough Did warning because I was literally <laughs> grabbing for my popcorn napkins because it was so overwhelming those last 45 minutes. And you've seen the film three times. What kind of reaction have you had when you've seen it? Yes, I cried and I know the story. We're here with a woman who no longer needs an introduction because every time we see you, you're just adding more and more and more stuff to your resume. Congratulations, Priyanka. Welcome to AVS. Thank you very much. Always lovely to be here. Today, it's all about your big Hollywood debut feature <laughs> film, Baywatch. Yeah, it's a fun one. It's really fun. You've you know, seen the movie. I've seen the movie. I absolutely loved it. We actually just caught up with your mom. Uh, she was in town for the New York Indian Film Festival. There was a whole Priyanka Produces yes. segment at <laughs> yeah. the festival. Congrats on Ventilator Thank winning you. the national award. Three. Three, Three national, national awards. awards. I want to talk about Homeland because I'm yeah. so curious. You know, we watched you in, in those six episodes and you were fantastic. Um, your makeout scene with Claire Danes. <laughs> <laughs> what was that like? I, it was strange. Um, it was my first. Uh, it was my first kissing scene. Um, firstly, so you start with Ang Lee as a director. You yeah, start know, with Claire crazy. Danes as your first makeout. I mean, does it get any better than that? Yeah, man. It's the people you work with. Uh, yeah. So she she guided me through that process, um, and uh, it went well. I think uh, it went well. Is she a good kisser? Yeah. <laughs> we are here with the lovely Lisa Ray, who calls herself a cancer thriver. And actually, she's here at the SKN Foundation Gala in New Jersey. We're catching up with you. Congratulations on everything you've done, whether it comes to film, philanthropy, modeling, writing, and now being an advocate for this very important cause. Talk about the advocacy and had, let's start there. First of all, Jitin, great to see you as well. We also go way back. We do. And. Um, in fact, yeah, the last time I guess we saw each other was also for a cancer-related activity. You know, I want to talk a little bit about Bollywood because I know that, you know, Hotstar is also a platform for Bollywood and cricket, you know, the two biggest things to come out of India, especially in the West. We've seen a lot of Bollywood focus on cricket in the last couple of years. We've had MS Dhoni, the film. We've had Sachin, uh, Sachin Tendulkar's biopic. Um, any talks about biopics on Anil Kumble and Harbhajan Singh in the near future from Bollywood? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we are joined by Nina Davaluri, who won Miss America six years ago. And since then, she has added the titles of activist and entrepreneur to her resume. Nina, first of all, welcome to ABS. We interviewed you actually six years ago, the day after you won your title. So it's nice to have you back six years later. It's great to be here. It's become a full circle moment since that morning after I won. It's a piece of history many have forgotten. The story of the last king of Punjab, Maharaja Dulip Singh and Queen Victoria finally unfolds on the big screen in The Black Prince. Don't be fooled by the hair. Jagga Jasus is no Tintin. Hey guys, Jitin Hingarani here. Fans of the comic book series Tintin are drawing comparisons to Ranbir's look and character in this week's Bollywood adventure. Here's more of my sit down with him and Katrina in Mumbai. This is your first time producing a film. How was it for you as an actor also knowing that you have to wear the second hat. I guess the only contribution I've made as a producer is I got the film together. New York City was a mecca for movie lovers this week. Hey guys, Jitin Hingarani here. The 17th annual New York Indian Film Festival kicked off Sunday night with the premiere of Alankrita Srivastava's controversial feature film, Lipstick Under My Burka. It's been around for 17 years. How long have you been around this festival? I know you've been a... a... I mean, yeah, like from the beginning, I like the furniture. <laughs> <laughs> 